Hi, my name is Namal Khan, um, a member of the Curtis Lab. Uh, my project is on uh, biofuels, basically. Um, it's renewable biofuels. Uh, and it's one of the projects funded by RPIE, uh, Electrofuels Program. Uh, so the idea is that uh, the energy from the sun to be captured in some kind of a liquid um, fuel molecule that we can use for transportation fuels. Um, uh, for example, the electricity uh, the, is uh, generated in solar photovoltaics can be used to split water, generating hydrogen and oxygen, and the hydrogen, oxygen, and CO2 can be fed to a bacteria that is genetically engineered to produce a fuel molecule. In our case, we chose a hydrocarbon fuel molecule because uh, of its um, hydrophobic characteristic. You can separate this from the water phase very easily, uh, so avoiding the uh, separation cost. Um, and then uh, this is much more similar to a petroleum crude that we use in the petroleum industry, so you can feed it directly to there and then uh, uh, get your gasoline product. So that's, that was our fuel molecule. It's botrychosine, it's a C30 hydrocarbon. And uh, we chose a bacteria called uh, Rhodobacter capsulatus that can use hydrogen and CO2 and oxygen to, and then we have genetically modified that to uh, make this fuel molecule. Um, we have achieved uh, significant improvements recently. We've gone to 100 milligrams per liter um, production of botrychosine from uh, right from H2 and CO2, uh, feeding this to this bacteria. Um, and we are working on making this uh, system uh, much better.